you can now move your data. In the Move Data step, you can do it either in online or offline mode. If you're doing it in online mode, you need to specify your source connection. And for the target connection, you want to continue on using your sys user who has the privilege to generate the script to do the data move. Now, if there's any existing data, you can truncate it. And finally, it'll take you to the summary page where you can review the actions for each of your steps. When you click on Finish, it will go ahead and generate the script to create your database. And it will go ahead and move your data from your Sybase to Oracle. Once the migration completes, you can now create a connection to your new Oracle database. Go to the Create New Connections dialog. Give it a connection name. The username and the password will be the same. Save the password. Once connected, you can now view all the objects that have been migrated. Here are your tables. You can take a look at the column definition and the data that's been migrated over. This completes your Sybase migration to Oracle using the Migration Wizard.